Boris Johnson vowed Britain will play a leading role in weaning the West off Russian gas. The Prime Minister said sanctions are working but the only way to have real lasting pressure on Vladimir Putin is by turning to other nations for energy supplies. He said there are huge reserves around the world that mean we do not have to be beholden to Putin in the way that we are. The UK wants to bring together nations to find other gas sources. Mr Johnson set out his aim in a question and answer with Daily Express readers he had invited to quiz him on any topic they wanted. Over half an hour in the Downing Street study, which was used by Margaret Thatcher as her main office, he gave the panel an update on the war in Ukraine and how Britain was responding. He said Western sanctions were having a bigger impact than hoped for and the UK is continuing to supply weapons to Ukraine. The topic was at the forefront of minds of the five readers invited to Downing Street and Mr. indicated that he was disappointed Pakistan, India and China abstained in a vote condemning Russia at the United Nations last week. But he said that opinion of the world is clear on the invasion after 141 of the Assembly's 193 members passed the motion in a rare emergency session called by the UN Security Council. Mr. Johnson was questioned by a panel of five express readers as they sat at the study's distinctive round elm table. It dates back to a time when Russia operated within international norms and was part of the G8 group of leading nations. Former Prime Minister David Cameron commissioned the table to provide an intimate atmosphere during discussions with counterparts when the G8 summit was held in County Fermanagh, Northern Ireland in 2013 and later had it moved to number 10. Photographs from the time show Mr. Cameron flanked by the U.S. President Barack Obama on one side and Putin on the other. Russia was booted out of the group the following year after the annexation of Crimea and it is now called the G7. After the discussion with express readers, Mr. Johnson headed off to hold telephone talks with Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro as he continued his diplomatic push for support from all nations against Russia's warmongering.